Round two of the FIM MX2 Motocross World Championship got underway at Sedlievo in Bulgaria, and it was Tommy Searle who grabbed the all-important hole shot from one of the Rockstar Energy Suzuki riders. It looked like uh, Harry Kulas there in second position. Jake Nichols was well placed in third, but uh, a big crash for Valentin Tellier ended his chances of finishing the race, crashing out of seventh position. Tommy Searle, though, who had a good, comfortable advantage, suddenly lost his front brake, and that allowed his teammate Joel Roulons to close in and take the pass. And Tommy Searle could do nothing about it. Meanwhile, Jeffrey Hurlings had climbed up into third place, and the championship leader overtook Tommy Searle in exactly the same place that he lost out to Joel Roulons. That front brake really causing him some problems. But as the race went on, Joel Roulons looked comfortable at the front, and Hurlings was more than comfortable in second position. And it was Roulons, though, who went on to win the first moto here in Bulgaria. MX2 race two, and the decider in terms of the outcome of the overall Grand Prix, it was Jake Nichols who got the whole shot initially, but then Tommy Searle ran alongside him, going through into the second turn, through the bomb hole. And uh, Jake Nichols, though, would eventually fall on the opening lap from third place. Tommy Searle, though, would lead every single lap. Jeffrey Hurlings, he started in third position, but eventually got through to second, leaving Joel Roulons and Max Anstey to provide the fireworks as they went at it for the battle of fourth place. This wasn't the first time they clashed, and eventually Joel Roulons would find a way back through. Towards the closing uh, moments of the race, though, Tommy Searle found himself coming under pressure from Jeffrey Hurlings, who was gaining in confidence on the hard, slick conditions. Hurlings' teammate Jeremy Van Horbeek was in third. Meanwhile, the battle for fourth was still yet to be decided. Joel Roulons making sure that he was that fourth man home, nudging aside Max Anstey with about three laps to go. The checkered flag, though, went to Tommy Searle. He won the race, he won the Grand Prix from Jeffrey Hurlings and Jeremy Van Horbeek. And the overall was Tommy Searle, Jeffrey Hurlings and Joel Roulons. MX1 race one and Tony Cairoli up the inside, 222 on the Rebel KTM got off to a good start, just leaning on David Philippart's pushing him wide, but behind him the two Kawasaki's of Gautier Paulin and Christophe Porcel wasted no time in making their way to the front. First, Gautier Paulin had to fend off the challenge from Clement de Salle to move into third position, and then Cairoli found himself in a battle with Pomar de Salle as well as he surged forward at the same time. So Cairoli was starting to lose positions and dropped down into fourth place. He then tried a late surge to get onto the rear wheel of Pomar de Salle, but would eventually have to settle for fourth place. Up front, though, it was all about 377 Christophe Porcel. He would take the win for Kawasaki. Gautier Paulin was second, de Salle was third. MX1 race two, another good jump for Tony Cairoli, but he was able to come across the riders ahead of him, pushed David Philippots wide and the rest. That opened the door for Christophe Porcel, who snuck through on the inside to lead the early part of the moto. But it wasn't long before he came under pressure towards the opening lap from Gauthier Paulin, who went through and took the race lead at that time. Cairoli was getting beat up left, right and centre by Clement de Salle. De Salle went through into third place with that pass. Kenda Dijker was on the charge as well, he eventually moved up into third position, into fourth place, sorry, when he went by Cairoli, but up front it was Gauthier Paulin, who was around about three, four seconds clear of Christophe Porcel. Cairoli had got back into third place to Sal, meanwhile, he was struggling, he had a couple of crashes and would only pick up 18th. The chequered flag went out to Gauthier Paulin, again, he won the race, he won the Grand Prix. Christophe Porcel was second, and the third man on the podium was Antonio Cairoli. So it was two French riders and two Kawasaki's that took the top two steps of the podium here in Bulgaria. Gracias.